Hello and welcome to Ready API. In this video, you'll learn how to retrieve data from databases and use it in your tests. Often, test data is stored in a database. Ready API can connect to any database using the JDBC API if a corresponding driver exists. In this tutorial, we will use a Microsoft SQL Server database. Ready API comes with the SQL Server JDBC driver pre-installed. For instructions on how to install and configure other drivers, see the Ready API documentation. Our sample test case includes a request to the Pet Store API. The request adds a user to the service. User info is specified in the JSON body. The request test step is enclosed in a data source loop. Our goal is to make the data source test step retrieve user info from the database and pass it to the request body. Let's create a database connection using the Database Connection Manager. Connections created here can be used in multiple test steps or virtual service data sources in a project. You can use environments to change configuration of a connection. Configure connection to the database. First, select the JDBC driver that will be used. The name of the driver consists of its description and the Java class that represents the driver. Available settings depend on the selected driver. For the SQL Server driver, you need to enter the host and port of the SQL Server, your credentials, and the database from which to retrieve data. You can test the connection to make sure everything is fine. Ready API automatically builds the database connection string based on the connection settings you specify. However, if you need to specify additional options to connect to your database, you can edit the connection string manually. Later, we will describe how to edit the string to connect using the Windows authentication. And if you want to connect to a named instance, see Ready API documentation. Now that the connection is created, set the type of data source to JDBC and select the configured connection. To retrieve data, we need to specify a SQL query. Ready API offers a graphic query builder that makes it easy. Here, you can see tables included in the database. When you select a table, you can specify columns you want to retrieve. As you see, Ready API automatically created data source properties and a query for you. You can edit the query manually if you want to. You might also want to specify the limit of rows that will be retrieved from the database. To pass data from the data source to the requested test step, we will use property expansions. Now we can run the test case. As you see, each time the request was sent with different parameters in the body. If you need to, you can change connection settings for one particular step without changing the pre-configured connection. For example, to connect to the server using Windows authentication rather than SQL Server credentials, remove the user and password parameters from the connection string and add this parameter. However, to enable Windows authentication, you need to put the SQL JDBC auth library to the bin folder of your Ready API installation and restart Ready API. The library is included in the driver archive that can be downloaded from the Microsoft website. As you see, the connection works even without the SQL credentials. Another way of working with databases in Ready API is the JDBC request test step. The test step retrieves data from the database. You can then use the data in other requests or to validate responses. The syntax and parameters of a connection string formed by Ready API depend on the connection string template. Ready API comes with pre-configured templates for some database drivers. You can edit them or add new ones in Ready API preferences. For example, you can create a special template for Windows authentication that won't include user and password parameters and will include the integrated security parameter. Now, when you create a connection string in any project and use this template, the connection string will be ready to be used for Windows authentication. Now you know how to use databases in Ready API. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, check out our documentation, videos, and online community on our support portal.